right guys bit of a um impromptu video this um so today i'm gonna head up the northeast coast look at doing a wild camp possibly on a beach um or if i can't really find anywhere suitable which can't understand why that would be the case i could almost always head over to the cheviots um i would normally like the plan and normally spot um which helps me anxiety but i'm doing something wild well wild as far as i'm concerned i'm just gonna go for it just got my bag just gonna head up the northeast coast up the road and just see what happens basically for the night um and yeah and prove to myself that hopefully i can do this and just go off on a whim so keep watching and we'll see where we end up let's go right we've just arrived at amble which according to the sign is the friendliest port i don't know whether that's in the northeast or england or britain or the world but hey no way to argue this part over there amble's just over there so we're just going to head over here and on the beach and give mr k a go to run around and we're going to head up towards amble and see what that's got to offer um on the way up here i think i've got a couple of spots for an overnight at night already so that's good that's put my mind at rest and uh yeah, it's quite cloudy, you can probably see, but it's about 20 degrees, so it's still warm. So yeah, let's go and have a bit of fun on the beach and go and get some lunch from Amble. So I've just walked along there from the beach where them people are. Doing a little bit of rock scrambling. Look at this, though, eh? Lovely, isn't it? There's the lighthouse out on the island there. You can even pitch here. <laughs> Didn't you? Get a tent on there, free standing one. Obviously check the tide's not coming in too high. Beautiful. So we're just gonna clamber up the cliff side up on the top. Um so I'll see the tides in. I would imagine probably when it goes out, you'll be able to maybe walk around a bit. Yeah. Right, let's get up here. So we've just been along to the Keyside chip shop. In Amble Harbour, look, and we've just got a big portion of sausage, chips, and butter, and a kind of cherry coke. So, absolutely starving, aren't we, mate? <laughs> You're licking your lips now, aren't you? And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy these. So far, so good. <laughs> I don't know if you can make it out on the camera right up there about there Walkworth Castle you see that Yeah, so we're just at Amble Harbour. We've had our fish and chips. We'll have a little wander around. And then uh, it's only half past two. And then we'll head back down to the beach. Back to where we parked the car. And uh, yeah, get the overnight bag out. And go and pitch up somewhere. That's the plan anyway. So yeah, let's have a wander back, see what else we can see.
Just left Amber and we're walking back down the coastline. There's Cork A Island. I'm just heading south. About to pick up the car and then drive a little bit further south. Ditch the car for the night and uh, go and find a place to yeah, sleep. He's just having a good look. All down the east coast from here. For the next few miles there's like them chalets, holiday homes. There's some lovely ones like right up on the cliff top overlooking the beaches look. Fantastic spot. Right. We'll just walk to that corner. And we're just gonna walk back down there about half. Half the length of the beach, and then the car's just up in the dunes in the car park. So as you can see, look at this. So it's a bit windy, but it's warm. Look at all the beach you've got yourself, pretty much. It's fantastic up here. The amount of beach there is, the amount of space you've got. So, yep, he's had a good walk out. He should sleep the night. We'll get back to the car. I think I'm just gonna go into town and get some water. I've got a I've got a litre and a half in my rucksack. But I'm quite thirsty, so honestly I've got the car. Probably an amble. Get a few supplies and then uh, go and find a pitch for the night. Right. Catches in a bit. Right, being dumped the car, got my bag, and we're just uh, walking down the beach. It's only quarter to six, so there's still quite a few people out. A few dog walkers. So, just gonna walk down here and have a little look for a suitable place, and then just sit and maybe have a beer and let the last few people get away for the night still warm even though it's cloudy and a bit breezy so yeah so we'll head to that corner down there and see if we can find somewhere where we can pitch just up off the sand maybe it's the first time I've done a coastal camp so it's a bit of a learning experience for us. We're looking forward to it. So the, let's go. Right guys, we've uh, found the pitch at last. I was thinking about pitching down there on the sand just above that seaweed line. Cause I'm presuming that's where the high tide comes, which is about midnight tonight. But uh, with it being my first beach camp, I bottled it and I decided to come higher up. So I found this little spot here. It's as good as can be. So as you can see, there's just the odd dog barking, but there's not a soul about. So I've got the tent up. It started to spit on the rain. So I thought we'd get the tent up. So. Here's my kit for tonight, here's my rucksack, jet boil, water, my radio, and that plastic popper sheet. I've got a chili and rice. Not that I'm hungry after eating them fish and chips, well sausage and chips. Got a granola bar, a cup full of coffee and tea, a cup of beers, my little hip bottle. For the whiskey, that is my down jacket in case I need it. But it's hot at the minute, so I probably won't. Porridge for the bre breakfast. My little bum bag with me technical gear in, my mic and uh, charging cable, my power bank, my bits and bobs in there, me the fire and seating bag, and I'm out with me seat of summit 
Matt and Knight and Pillow, give them that a go. Um, me and Neo uh, obviously packs a lot lighter, but I just hoped it for comfort at night with not parking too far away from the car. So yeah, that's it. Back on the nature hike again. Managed to get it pitched here. So uh, see a way to check it out. Nothing really that fantastic going on. Just nice and quiet. See where all the money's been hammered into the pool look. The 20 pence piece there. Huh. So, yeah. so it's now what 10 past 7. So, we're just going to sit and have a beer and just get cozy for the night, really. Just sit and take it all in. That's a nature reserve through there, look. Yeah, the northeast coast, eh? Right. Catch us in a bit if there's anything worth filming. Right, so I'm just sitting here. Then you can see that. Let's just go over the bank there. It's like a little man-made seat. So quite comfortable. So I'm gonna try this. I got this one last time I went wild camping. Um from Aldi. 99p I enjoyed it so I've got that again but I've also got this one another one for 99p from Aldi and it's uh, it's crafted in small batches using Cascade Admiral Summit Citra Nelson Savin and Blank Hops whatever that means <laughs> and it is 5.5% so just bear with us a minute it smells nice oh that's nice that yeah that's quite thing that like, well, that's two two different ones I've had now from Aldi for 99p so that's the Buckhorn Brewery Stateside IPA. Very nice. 99 pence. Yep, definitely recommend that one. <sighs> so this is my view. Not bad, eh? He's just sitting, relaxing as always, watching the birds and the whatever. Makes a change from watching the sheep, doesn't it? <coughs> yeah, this is the first time I've been out for an overnight since getting COVID. Dodged that bullet for three years, but we've eventually all got it, so yeah, I'm the man now anyway. Right, I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy the beer. Look at this, we've got the whole beach to ourselves now. Miles and miles and miles of beach. There's the power station over there, you see it on the horizon? the tent not so stealthy I suppose but it'll do I don't even pick that up but that looks like a little orange tent way 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 over there Give him a little run around. 
starting to get a little bit cooler now. It's still warm, but uh, a little bit nippy. He loves the beach, doesn't he? Don't you? Well, at least it's easy to find me tent. You just look for the great big telegraph pole. I don't know what that was there for, actually. Seems to have no purpose. You know. It's got great big nails in it, though. So it's been used as like a, a ladder for climbing to the top. I was thinking maybe for a flag or something, but... Strange, don't know. Any ideas? Put in the comments. face if you like got a little bit of coal in it what looks like peat you get the sea coal washing up on these beaches up the northeast supposedly back in the day poor people used to come and get it put on their fires not that effective, it's not as effective as a uh, proper coal if you like. I suppose if it's free. Right, back up on the dune. I'm back the tent. Maybe we'll have a we have a can. Morning. Just after half past four early but I've set the alarm because I want to see if we can capture a sunrise Um wasn't much to film last night we in bed for half eight both quite tired so we knew we wanted to get up early this morning so yeah so we'll set the, the time lapse away have a coffee and get packed up get out of the way before the dog walkers come Right, let's see if we can get a sunrise. Catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.